Okay, hello. Uh, <laughs> Want to do a quick uh, introduction before getting into uh, into the first uh, the first video here. Um, my name is Jed Abernethy. Uh, Going to take you through the process of learning how to ride an EUC for the first time. Uh, I'm based in the Chicagoland area. This is uh, mid November. We've got a, a blast of warm air before uh, before fall comes to a close. So I'm trying to squeeze this in before uh, before the cold weather and the inclement weather hits. Um, shout out to the EUC, uh, the Chicago EUC riders, uh, specifically David Ahmed for loaning me this wheel and allowing uh, and allowing me to, to share the experience of uh, first time uh, learning with you all. Uh, David, just so you know, so you can see, I'm on. I found some astroturf, so we'll be able to protect the wheel. So again, thank you very much for allowing me to do this. Uh, actually, for first-time riders, this turns out to be one of the biggest challenges of learning how to ride, just getting access to the wheels. So uh, I would strongly encourage the community to help bolster enthusiasm and, uh, and build the community is to make your older wheels uh, available to those others who are trying it for the first time. Uh, you know what it's like to plunk down a big chunk of cash uh, and then and then get all the scratches and the bumps and bruises to learn for it. So this is this is fantastic that I that I've got access to this before making first purchase. I won't get into the product side of this. I just wanted to mention the InMotion uh, Solo Glide Three is a great starter wheel from my viewpoint. Not too much power, not too small, not too big, 30 or so pounds. But beyond being a starter wheel, it also represents to me a great wheel for um, one of the prime use cases for this, and that's the commuter taking with you transportation. Range is a little slow, 20, or, uh, uh, tiny, 20 to 30 miles, but uh, in terms of the, uh, the capabilities, it's great. So not a product to review, don't want to get into that. I actually want to step on this thing and, uh, and take you through the process of learning. So. Uh, one last thing is it's apologize for the for the audio quality. I'm stuck using my earbuds for the, uh, for the mic, and we are pretty breezy here today. So hopefully this uh, the the, uh, the experience will still be tolerable for everybody. So um, what's involved in getting uh, in getting started? You've got to learn actually how to get your feet on it and use the accelerometer. You've got to learn how to how to. Uh, use your foot and lower body to actually push and balance at the same time. The process I'm going to try is what uh, others have seen on the online, is you do it with one foot, do some arcs and some circles, get the wheel up close to your leg, and, uh, and then try it on the other leg, and gradually learn how to, how to get the balance from the body up through the middle torso, up through the upper body. So I'm going to power up the wheel. And let the fun commence. So the first thing I'm going to try to do is I'm just going to try to get my foot on here. I'm going to lean the wheel into my leg. This again, this is my first time, so I've I've never done this before. So here's what I'm feeling right now. I'm I'm feeling the accelerometer. If I just if I just push my foot forward just a tad, I can start. I can feel the wheel engage, and I can see I can feel how the wheel is wobbling. I want to try to keep that wheel underneath me. So I'm going to bring it back. Now I'm going to just try to do some arcs around the wheel. And I'm going to bring it back. So far, so good. But I can see how this can get pretty, uh, pretty gnarly under your feet. You can lose your balance really quick unless you know how this, unless you know how to control your foot and your ankle movement on the pedal. So I'm not using the best, uh, the best shoes. I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm just going to go back and forth here a couple times. Just to try to get that feeling. I actually, I'm using my toes and the balls of my foot to, to lean forward, and then I'm pushing back on the heel. And that's actually, that's actually taken some uh, some getting used to. Right now, I'm feeling it could be the wheel that it's really not that comfortable on my calf. I don't feel like I have it pressed up the calf the way I would like. So I'm going to make an adjustment there. And again, I'm just going to go back and forth here a couple times. So far, so good. No wipeouts. Notice I'm not wearing a helmet, but uh, 
I'm not planning on going super fast, and the and the turf is uh, is pretty is pretty reasonable too. So now I'm going to try it on the other foot here. And again, your the, the guide is to get is to get the wheel underneath and to keep the wheel underneath you. I know the experienced riders are saying, "Well, this is the easy part. Wait till you get going." And again, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to feel the feel the weight. So I, I actually I don't know if you can see this, but I have my foot kind of too. I think it's too forward on the pedal. So I'm going to make a little adjustment here. I'm going to get my get my calf along the side. Now now I start to feel feel a little better. Just got to do this for uh, for a while, I think. And then part of this process is you want to find or you want to feel which is your strong foot because that's the one you're going to mount and dismount on. I still actually, I say I don't feel that comfortable going on one foot. I'm going to try my other, my right foot again, see how that feels. For me, my, my left foot is actually my stronger foot, but right now this, this feels like the one I want to use. All right, I'm going, to, I'm going to try to just take a little lean here, little hop steps. That one actually went okay. Let's try it again. I can see how this gets really gnarly really quick as you're trying to learn how to keep both feet on the, on the, pat, on the pedals for the first time. This is the process I think you need to go through. You actually just kind of need to do some arcs, do some circles, feel that foot. I don't want to bore you guys too much with watching me dance around like this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna end this kind of as kind of step one. Eric kind of bailed out on that one. There, now it feels like it's under my under my legs. Let's see if I can hop on this guy. Okay, to me that's step one. So I'll cut this video short. Or I'll stop the video at this point and we'll get into kind of our next step. And we'll see how.